Hey, what's up? You're here with Greg Lutzka. I want to give you a chance to win my Dark Star board. At the end of this episode of Inside Ally Sports, there's going to be a trivia question, so stay tuned. Welcome to Inside Ally Sports. Today, Greg Lutzka drops by our studio to talk about skating for competition versus skating for video parts. I'm Alex Curry, and we're taking you Inside Skate. Well, Greg, thanks for stopping in to the Inside Alley Sports Studio. What has been going on in the life of Greg? Uh, I've been traveling a lot, filming for this new Dark Star video that's coming out. So we've been uh, going to Sacramento, going to uh, Montreal, going to Arizona, filming a lot for that, and that drops uh, July 9th. So, and then contests, of course, are coming up, so getting prepared for that. So you do a lot of videos, but you're also doing great in contests. How do you balance the two? Balancing is, is a tough, kind of a tough subject for me because uh, there's a lot of pressure in the contest. Everything's gotta be like super quick and, and you only got a certain time limit to do your tricks. So you kind of do what you know you can do for video parts. Um, you can kind of go back and learn new stuff and, and hopefully the spot's not knobbed or cops don't kick you out, but you have a little bit more time to do it. That's why the progression is just so high because you can go back and do your tricks over and over until you perfect them with, with contest skating. It's pretty much you're there, you got a 15 minute jam or a seven minute jam and you have to throw it down in that time frame. It puts a lot of pressure on you to, to, to have to do that, so. So is that tougher than videos because you're kind of on the spot or is it harder to perfect that one trick that you're trying to get for your video part? For me, I think video parts is more important and tougher because you're trying to do tricks that haven't been done. Mm -hmm. uh, during the contest world, you kind of have your tricks that you know you want to do and you just throw them down as quickly as possible. Hopefully you get it first, second try. Sometimes it takes more and then at the end you try to throw something really big in there that's difficult that the judges have like a wow factor. Now you're a skater that does contest and videos. Mm -hmm. Do you think that direction is shifting in our new age of skaters? Nowadays, uh, a lot of the guys that just did video parts are skating in the contest world because of the fact that you know you have the Maloof Cup and you have the Street League that are bringing actual street spots into a contest format. So it's like going to a street spot and actually skateboarding. So you got P Rod out there, and you know you got Nija who's actually throwing down the gnarly video parts, but actually going out there in the contest world and doing these tricks that were in the con or in the video parts first try in the contest. So I mean, Nija just won the street league, kick full back nose line that rail. I mean, that's like an ender in a video part. So some of these guys are, are super talented to be able to perfect their tricks so good that they can do it first try in the contest. And and what makes you a pro skater isn't just the contest world. It's kind of nowadays you got to be able to do both. Now with X Games Real Street, it gives skaters an opportunity to showcase their skills and creativity in a video format. Do you think this is the best of both worlds? I think it's a, it's a super cool contest. Um, I haven't technically, I've never done it, but I think it's super cool that you can actually go on the streets, film a video part, and there's what, 10 other guys or so that actually compete with you, and there's judges that actually compete, you know, your street skating that's actually skating street spots, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a great, great contest. I'd love to be involved with it. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool because you get to see an actual video part and then you get judged on it from other guys. So I think it's a, I think it's a cool, different kind of contest, but I think it's pretty cool. So tell us about your new Dark Star project that you have coming up. Dark Star video is going to be super cool. It's a promo video. Uh, comes out July 9th on thrashermagazine.com. Uh, we have a new Ann Tyson who's just been killing it. Ryan Desenzo is always killing it. Um, Diet's got a part. Um, PLG has a part. Uh, they're just all smaller. Part, so it's, it's going to be a shorter promo, but it's going to be very uh, strong, so it's going to be sick. That's awesome. Well, Greg, thank you for stopping by the Inside Alley Sports Studios. Thank you for having me. And we really look forward to see your Dark Star video. I'm excited for it to come out. I know, me too. <laughs> well, that's it for another episode of Inside Alley Sports. There's a trivia question on the way for a chance to win a Greg Lutzka signature board. But before we get to that, you don't want to miss anything on the Alley Sports Network, so be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. For Inside Ally Sports, I'm Alex Curry, and thanks for watching. So, uh, do you teach skate lessons? Sometimes. <laughs> so here's your question. Which years did I win Tampa Pro? Write your answers in the comments to this episode for your chance to win. Good luck.